All right, so in here, we've come into the general settings of Zoom, and the basics of what we want to do is come down to our audio settings. Here's the thing. You've got to go into Zoom Optimized Audio first. We need to turn this down to low, which is effectively turning off their background noise suppression. And then we go into Original Sound for Musicians, and now we're good to go. Hey, welcome back to LM House Sound. My name is Dave, and today we're going to talk about Zoom. Everybody uses Zoom or has had to interact with Zoom over the past few years, and many of you are streaming directly from your audio console and your, your location across Zoom out to the world, out to the public. And we've found some recent issues with the connectivity of these new settings that they've added into it. They've added kind of real or authentic sound for musicians and they've even added some additional benefits. I wanna talk through what I just found out over the last two days with two of my, uh, two of my drummer friends that we've been working with one-on-one. -on -one. So the first thing I wanna do is talk about their situation and what they're experiencing because you might experience this as well. And then I wanna jump into the computer and show you these settings and how to fix it. All right, so the situation is this. Both of these, both of these people are drummers. They've, they've got a studio set up. They are teaching across Zoom out to the world, to students all over the world. And it's pretty sweet. And they've got usually a compact X32, kind of like mine. I believe one of them has the X32 rack. But regardless, you've got 16 inputs and they're using the inputs properly. They're using the outputs properly. They have their audio going into a Blackmagic A10 Mini similar to this one, which I just picked up so that I get to try and stream uh, live sometimes as well. Again, trying to figure this camera thing out. Uh, but anyway, they've got an A10 Mini and their, their audio connection comes from the board into the A10 on the microphone one input. And that's going into Zoom and they have picture. So their video comes across the recorder, but their audio does not. Now we tried in both of these scenarios to go with the audio just directly across USB. That's how many of you all get your audio into your streams. So we tested that out. We tested out the ATEM to find out if it was the ATEM device or the Zoom software. This video should tell you that we found out it's the Zoom software. And so what we did to fix it was go into the settings. Oh, sorry, here's the situation. Uh, the situation is that they both have a lapel mic and a little foot switch that they can toggle on and off so they can talk to the person with the lapel mic and then when they're ready to play their drums they can turn that lapel mic off and then all of their drum mics are functional through the board and into the stream. Here's the weird part. I could hear their lapel mic just fine. Everything worked fine until boom, 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 until they were playing the drums, the volume got big and Zoom said, no, 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 <laughs> we're not sending that out. That's apparently background noise or too much noise or auto compressed and just filtered it out as nothingness. But as soon as they would unmute their mic or talk in the lapel mic, that worked again. So that's the situation. Their drum, their big mix, maybe that you're building um, through your soundboard and sending out to your live stream audience is getting voided out, but everything works properly because their one microphone is still working. So what did we do to fix that? Let's jump into the computer and figure that out and show you real quick. All right, so in here, we've come into the general settings of Zoom, and the basics of what we wanna do is come down to our audio settings. Within audio, uh, you can see right now my audio box USB that I'm actually recording in is the one that's set up here. But regardless, what we want to do is look down here below and we have our Zoom audio profiles. Down here, what we normally want to select is original sound for musicians. This is going to give us the best environment because we've got a great mix coming from our, uh, from our soundboard and it's going to go into Zoom or from your studio, it's going to go into Zoom or from your A10 Mini, wherever it's coming from. It's a great mix. It's going to go into Zoom. We want to choose high fidelity music mode. That's going to keep everything crystal clear for you and stereo audio because that's what we want. We're going to remove the echo cancellation. Here's the thing. You've got to go into Zoom optimized audio first. So select it. I know it's, it's not intuitive, but we need to go in here. By default, this is going to be set to auto. 
And that's the problem. Zoom is still looking at these settings, even though you're using original sound for musicians. So what we need to do is we need to come into Zoom Optimized Audio. We need to turn this down to low, which is effectively turning off their background noise suppression. And then we go into Original Sound for Musicians, and now we're good to go. Uh, in a newer version, I have not updated my Zoom recently, but in a newer version, there's even an option now that if you select, say, the X32, then you have the ability to select individual inputs uh, from the 32 inputs coming into Zoom. If you select that, do make sure that you are aware of what you're doing. Uh, it actually ends up removing one step that's needed in uh, the X32 and the routing that we have been doing for years, which is a great addition to Zoom. I have not tried it yet, so I don't know that I recommend it, but regardless, go ahead and for this case, we wanna hit Zoom Optimized Audio, we wanna to set to low, and then we can make our final selection to original sound for musicians. Again, I feel this is a defect in the Zoom software, but uh, this is the workaround for it. I hope this helps you out. All right, that's it. It's a pretty simple fix. It seems like it is uh, not intuitive because it seems like it's a defect in Zoom software. And if I've got enough extra time on my hands or if one of you all wants to do it, go ahead and send in a trouble ticket and tell them that their developers need to fix their defect. Uh, but it's a simple fix, one extra click before you go into uh, doing your live stream and I think you'll be good to go. Test it out for yourself, see if it works, confirm that it works, and let me know down in the comment section once yours is working properly. If you've got questions, go ahead and leave those in the comment section as below. I'm always answering questions down there. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one session because you need some special individual help for your situation, uh, look in the description. I've got a link there to my website and you can fill out the contact card. We can start a conversation outside of YouTube. But that's it. Make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, share it with a friend, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.